Make sure it's unplugged from the wall. Lights off. Right, I've got me uh, Perhaps if you go to the other videos, you'll see how to remove these and how to get them loose. You will need your cap. I'm just going to put that back on. Again. That's on. Put it to the off position. That's on. Off. Then you've got to find out which cables you need are your cables. On this one it's the brown wire there and this brown and white wire here. Basically this thermostat just interrupts the uh, the main incoming mains down to your, and then down to your compressor. It's basically just an on and off switch but controlled by the heat or the cold. Right, get your multimeter. Set it to ohms and continuity. So that's ohms. Then I have to press this button to get the buzzer on. Test it. Yep. That's one wire to the. Uh, well, don't matter which one, you just connect to which. Connect one to one. If you need to find out the wire of yours, You'll have to look at the model number or look at the spec sheet for your thermostat. So I'm doing this one handed, it's really hard. So that's one on. Get the second one on. So there you go. It should turn on and buzz and have a very low ohm reading. If you're getting a higher reading than that, then there's something wrong internally, you've got resistance. Well, that's it basically. On, off. Obviously the higher you turn that, the, the more it allows the fridge to stay, the compressor to stay on to cool the fridge. So that's just really controlled inside. And basically it's just an on and off switch you're testing there. So off. No power going to the compressor, on power should go to the compressor now. So this is a perfectly good working thermostat. Now I've just got to put it all back together again. But pretty easy to do.